Hello, my lovely beings. It's been forever since we last saw each other. Well, you're not really seeing me. You're seeing my books, which are here or here. <laughs> and even these I've had in a pile forever, probably since the summer. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but we'll just move on. I've been super busy, super uber ultra mega busy. And oops. <laughs> And there goes Bear Kitten getting in the way. <laughs> kitten. This is a book video. This is not a Bear Kitten video. And all you, there's just blackness. There's just, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Sorry about that interruption. Oh, well, no. Okay. He wants me to hold him. He does. Sorry about the wobbliness. That's the cat being unable to figure out what he wants to do. This is not helping me, Kitten. You know, if I could figure out how to stop this. And restart it and edit it as one video on my phone. I would, but I don't. So, <laughs> y'all just gonna have to suffer. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, this measly little stack of books are the ones that I read. Like I said, most of all of these were in the summer. Um, I didn't... I, the, 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 I stopped reading as much once I started my new job. Otherwise, there'd be a lot more of these. And now I just kind of want to go to sleep. So these are the beauties. That's my finger. Please don't mind it. <laughs> oh, speaking of being busy, I, I recorded a haul, book haul video, literally in the summer. And oh, this cat is driving me crazy. Kitty, you have to get down. You have to get down. Oof. <laughs> anyway. Any of y'all who watch my makeup videos remember when Barry used to get up on me when I would try to record a review? And I just left it in there because y'all wanted to see him. So I did. Anywho. <sighs> what was I saying? Oh. Back in the summer I recorded a book haul. And I never did edit it together. It's still sitting on my computer. And I'll tell you I have not even sat at my computer for more than an hour. Two hours. Since August. I know it's hard to believe. Anyway. I digress. So... This is what I've read. Some of them I borrowed. The rest are all mine. And they're stacked from the last I read. Wait. The first I read to the most recent up there. I don't know why I did it that way. It's just kind of how it worked out. Anyway. So this is. I'm sure y'all who are on Tumblr are familiar with Rupi Carr. And I'm sure I'm mispronouncing her name. She is a lovely, 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 lovely poet. And this was a gift from my bestie who went out of her way to find me a book that's signed, which is always kind of nifty. Not necessary for me to love a book, but it makes it more fun. Her poetry, they're very, very short, a couple of sentences here or there, but throughout the whole book, it's, it's all tied together like an actual story, like a novel. It's incredible. I think she has another one. That I also must have. Read it, read it, read it. Even if you don't like poetry, read it. If you're a girl, especially, read it. If you're a woman, definitely read it. If you're a guy, eh. Next, I uh, use the right hand, the correct hand. The Violets of Mark. Mark, oh my god. Violets, I can't read apparently, apparently either. The Violets of March by Sarah Gio. And I don't know why, I have no idea why I bought this book because it's not in my typical genre and I absolutely loathed it. Don't read it. Please don't read it. It's awful. Don't do it, people. I'm telling you. Trust me on this one. It's bad. <laughs> Next is oops, The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. I read this the first time way back, I think in... 8th grade? 7th grade? I loved it then. I still I still love it, actually. I find it significantly more humorous now than I did then. But read it, read it, read it. You will like it. It's fun. It's funny. And it's something like the movie, so don't waste your time. Especially that Dan... What was it? A Dan Aykroyd abortion. Don't... Ooh. Bad terminology. Just don't watch it. Read the book instead. And that's H.G. Wells, in case you were curious. Next is one I borrowed from my bestie. This is a Witches of East End novel, Serpent's Kiss. I think this is the second. And I thought for sure I would hate it because I hate the TV show. 
but the books are kind of fun. I mean, it's no Nobel Prize winning literature, but it's fun, you know, kill a night. This I also bought for my bestie, which is The Secret Diary of Laura Palmer. She has had this since it came out, so it's old. I shouldn't have said that. I just dated her, well, and myself. <laughs> anyway, I borrowed this from her right around the time... Uh, I think we started watching or we heard about the new Twin Peaks, which we still haven't finished at him, even though it sucks. But I still want to find out what happens, even though I know it's going to suck. This is hilarious. It bears very little. Um, I can't even see, I just brain fart. There are things in this that weren't actually in Twin Peaks or in the Twin Peaks movie. And it's like, hello, canon. Where are you? Still fun. This is Kristen Hanna's Firefly Lane. Eh, I kind of liked it, but man, I'm kind of lukewarm about it. Kristen Hanna, there's one book I really like from her, of hers. And I made the mistake, based on that one book, to buy a butt ton of hers at the Goodwill. And I'm glad I didn't pay more than $2 for them because <sighs> I can't deal with all this romance crap. I'm so bitter speaking of crap <laughs> Beth Harbison's always something there to remind me this is horrible there's not one likable character in this book again I thought based on the fact that I liked her two of her books Shoe Addicts Anonymous and then there was another that was just fun 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 this is no fun none none yeah, that was funny I rhymed I'm literate the Power of One by Bryce Courtney. This is really good. It's incredibly depressing. It's incredibly well written. And it it really gives... I'm using really too much. It gives a, a sign. Wow. <laughs> it gives life to a side of life that is completely unfamiliar to me. So read it. Ooh, you can see me in this one. Hello. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I need more caffeine. Less caffeine, more caffeine. I don't know. Next is Snow White, Blood Red by Ellen Datlow and Terry Windling. This is an anthology. They actually put together quite a few anthologies of different takes on fairy tales, fun things and such. These are awesome. Each story is of a different author. It puts you in touch with authors you've never heard of, stories of authors you didn't know they'd written. This is good stuff. There's, I don't know how many, but there's quite a few. This is A Charmed Death by Madeline Alt. These are fun. I think my bestie calls these cozy mysteries. You read them in about an hour or two, depending, or if you're like me and you just didn't have time to read, maybe two days. But it's fun, and it's not a super, I don't know, the mysteries aren't super easy to solve. They're not in any way, shape, or form difficult, but still fun. This is, speaking of mysteries, by Karen Harper, The Poison Garden, and Elizabeth the First Mystery. Two of my favorite things, mysteries and the Tudors. This is amazing. I got this first one for Christmas. <laughs> so somehow I have all the rest of them, but somehow missed the first one. And now that I dived into this one, I'm pretty much going to dive headfirst into the rest. And the last one is Tudor Tudor. Your Cheeky Guide to the Dynasty. This is an incredibly basic background of the Tudor family, history, location, who, what, why, where, how. But it's hilarious. And the artwork kind of cracks me up. The title of each chapter also kind of cracks me up. But if you don't know anything about uh, Tudor England, get it. <laughs> Because it's fun. It's a nifty book. I like. I like. Mm. I know a decent amount of Tudor history. Relatively well versed ish, maybe. I don't know. Depends on who you ask. And it's fun. It made me giggle. And this is my pile. Pile of books I need to put away or get rid of or return. And then there's, well, the cat. <laughs> he's going to snap himself in the face if he's not careful. Anyway, y'all, thank you if you are still subscribed and watching my videos. I really do appreciate it, and you know I love every one of you desperately, wholeheartedly, infinitely, indefinitely. 
I am going to do my damnedest, and I know y'all have heard me say this before, get that new books video edited. The funny thing is now I have even more books, so I'm not sure to add them or make them two videos. It probably doesn't really matter. But in any case, this is me. This is Bear. And it's time to go to sleep because I have to go to work tomorrow. Good night.